than this. <laughs> One brush, one brush. has been making my hair fall out. Every time I like touch my hair or brush my hair or take a shower, wash my hair, I have bunches of hair falling out. It's way more, way more than usual. Even way more than when I bleached my hair and I had like little hair, pink hair. Even when my hair was in the worst condition possible, I didn't lose nearly as much hair. It's kind of been a problem. It's been so much that I'm like kind of concerned and like need to take action. So here we are. What possibly could be contributing to this? Well, I feel like there's multiple factors kind of in play right now. The first sign that this was happening was like the water here. The water here is just really different from what I'm used to. And I remember when I first moved here in my apartment, I couldn't drink water from the tap. Because it smelled so much like chlorine. Of course, I'm showering in this as well. And I have heard from other people in other corners that like the water is really chlorinated. I've heard that it's really soft or the opposite. I've heard that it's really hard. And also like the hair products. Like the products are just a lot more harsh here because I feel like I feel like people's hair is just more resilient. Like it's thicker, more resilient to handle more harsh formulas. Well, like say a Westerner's hair tends to be a little bit more fine and thin and a bit more sensitive if you will. I'm buying different products and all of a sudden I'm washing my hair in completely different water than I'm used to so my hair is just reacting in a way that I don't particularly enjoy. Another very important factor that is at play is stress. One brush. Moving to a foreign country all by yourself is incredibly stressful as it is. And even though I have been here for like almost a year now, it's kind of getting there. My life has become so much more stressful, not making a lot of money. And so 
I've been having a lot of stress just with like budgeting and just like making my money stretch. Uh, there's like a lot of pressure to stay overtime in some companies, maybe not a lot of like foreign English teaching companies, but you know, there's kind of like a pressure to stay longer than your superiors. And also just like um, lots of my coworkers want to like go and have dinner or like go drinking after work. And it's kind of, you know, that's, that's kind of like the thing that you do socially. You just like, you go out and you, you party with your coworkers. <laughs> and while those things aren't necessary, like it is kind of sort of unwritten social rules that that's kind of something you, you do. On top of that, because my salary is so low, <laughs> I have to have a side hustle. So this has always been my side hustle. I have been having to do this side hustle like a lot, take it, take it a lot more seriously. Simultaneously, I'm trying to s film as much content as I can possibly film while I have daylight uh, for the whole week. I have one day where I stay home, I do chores and I just film bunches of content and I just try to like backlog it as much as I can. And then the next day, usually I'll try my best to be social. <laughs> A lot of other social media content creators and influencers visit Japan or live in Tokyo, but visit Osaka that I've had the opportunity to meet, and it's just been wonderful. It's been a blast meeting so many like-minded people. I've made so many really good friends. Juggling like basically one full-time job and two side hustles, and trying to have a social life on top of it, it's just been so stressful. <laughs> so yeah, there are so many factors I feel like stress-wise here, and uh, just like environment-wise that like my hair has just been really hitting the brunt of it. It's just been falling out left and right. It's looking really thin and I'm gonna try my best to find solutions to try to save some of my hair because I, I like to keep it, you know? <laughs> It is so windy outside. Can you hear it? No, we can't. So I just got a really exciting package from Lace Made. I thought I would go ahead and unbox it on camera just because it's super fun. This is the package from Lace Made. It is huge and very heavy. So why don't we go ahead and get on into this? I work with Lace Made basically every single month now they send me some stuff in exchange for content they really stuffed the box super full this time so this is what we're working with we see a couple sweaters on top first off we have this gorgeous cardigan it's in this cardigan cardigan sweater sweater bin sweater bin and it's in this gorgeous like dusty rose color, which I've been obsessed with recently. It kind of gives me like grandma vibes in like the cutest way. I really like it. Oh, it's so cute. You're adorable. Good job being adorable. Next one, we have a, another sweater cardigan. This one, I actually already have in pink and I wear it so much and I wear red a lot, obviously. So I thought I would just get the red one too. Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> Next up is this corset dress. I've seen so many people on Instagram wear this dress and so I thought I would get one of my own. Yeah, it's got this like corset bust sort of thing going on. Next, I will show you this skirt. It's this like gorgeous satin, dusty pink, long fluffy skirt this is so cute and i've seen it so many girls here in japan wear stuff like this all the time she needs a, a steam actually i don't even know if an iron's gonna cut it i don't think i want an iron i might have to go out and grab a steamer you know i have a low steamer that good but i left them in america so i'm gonna need another one <laughs> and then this next dress is so cute giving me super like cottage core vibes but also kind of like classic lolita vibe ah uh, it's just so classy and pretty and that is not all i also got this matching corset to go on top this was part of like the collection and oh my goodness i really love this sort of like red sort of details oh it's like not red 100 percent, i thought that was red but it's like copper i feel like it's gonna go anyway it's whatever <laughs> but like this and then this 
<laughs> it's so cute. It goes. It goes. Like, it's not a perfect color match, but I feel like it it's the vibes. Another box here that is for content creation purposes. I bought some studio lights because I have a couple of box lights and they're great. I love them. But I left them in America because I could not fit them in my suitcase whatsoever. So I went on Amazon and I found a couple of these spotlights. They're like round LED panel lights for like a really good price and they shipped to me really quickly and I only paid like 500 for shipping. And so I was like, you know, I'm in need of some studio lights. Like I'm tired of relying on the sun that's coming back and leaving and coming back and leaving. I am also a applying for a new job. If you guys know, I'm here in Japan as a full-time English teacher and I have applied for a new job to, to be a videographer and video content creator for another company. They are looking to see like an example of my work and they're looking for, you know, the setup, the whole thing, the lights, the everything. Speaking of lights, this is why I need them. <laughs> Let's get on into it. Is that mold? Well, something's on this. Well, here are the lights. Um, why does it look like this? I'm gonna wipe it off. Okay, so it looks like it just like had a little bit of moisture on it, but she's good now. They come in something like this. Said 10 inches, but I don't know. For some reason, I thought 10 inches was bigger than this. <laughs> it's just it just always sounds wrong. There's no way to not. The important factor that is at play is stress. Is this, is this the Japanese outlet? I don't think it is. Uh, this is just a whole nother thing I need to do. You can put a lithium battery in here, but it doesn't come with it. It was a good effort. It was a good thought. I got an adapter. I got one. I realized as soon as I was walking home that I only got one adapter. <laughs> Let's try it out. I should have bought two, <laughs> but you know what? Here we go. How do we turn it on? How do we turn it off? I want to make sure that this is off. On, off. See, I'm glad I checked. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I, I freak out about like hair dryers. Are you ready? I'm scared. Ooh. 
Ta-da! <laughs> oh, it can go super cool. Oh, yeah. And then like, watch. Now it's like warmer. You know, for how small this is, it packs quite a punch. Let's test it. <laughs> so, okay. I am used to a giant box light that would light up this whole room. So this is, this is different for me. It's convenient, it's small, it's compact. It packs a punch for what it is, but I understand why they only had sets of two and sets of three is because like my box light would fill this whole room with light. Like it would be bright in here. This is at 100% and it's just okay. <laughs> this works for now and I think it works for what I need it to do tonight. But yeah, I got the adapter and I also bought a few things here and there that I've been meaning to pick up. One of these is just more like pink disposable masks. I really like the kind that like has a little separate nose area. I feel like it just works better with like, you know, the tall nose uh, and has a better seal. <laughs> Can't forget the head bow. I went out and I got the Viral and Honey Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, this is their like limited edition Sakura sort of Sakura pixie line and it it's so cute it has a little cat on it i thought the bottles were so pretty and i've been meaning to try this brand and so far i think my hair really likes it like my hair is so much more like silky and moisturized and i think it's just in a little bit better condition than versus like the stuff that i was using before um but it doesn't really help fall out my hair falling out the set also came with some samples of their and honey melty repair shampoo and conditioner and also like a hair oil i do also have the hair oil from them as well so trying my best to like take care of my hair as best as i could um i also picked up one of these silk hair bonnets like nightcaps i know that like silk pillowcases are really popular for you know keeping your skin and your hair healthy while you sleep um but my pillowcases are really cute and i like kind of don't really want to replace them <laughs> so i thought like starting with one of these nightcaps is good and also i've heard that this like keeps your hair from being oily uh especially because like your bangs i know for me like if my bangs touch my forehead like they're gonna i'm gonna wake up and it's gonna be super oily in the morning yeah i don't know it's cute it's pink so i'm gonna give it a go and maybe i'll like it Taking care of it after the shower is only gonna do so much. Like, I think you really need to treat it at the source, which is why I am considering it getting like just a water filter uh, shower head, which they actually have quite a lot here. It's like, it'll basically purify the water and take out either all of the chlorine or most of the chlorine and other sort of pollutants in the water to, you know, purify the water for your skin and hair needs i was i thought i was sold on one but then like i was doing more research and somebody said that it's also important to find one that doesn't just like take out the chlorine but also takes out the minerals in the water that make the water hard so i might just get something off of amazon i might just do a little bit more research before buying it but um because if i'm gonna buy one i want it to like really work <laughs> uh because yeah i'm tired of like my hair being everywhere like it's everywhere so yeah i got this really fluffy cardigan it's like a pajama cardigan i think it's made out of baby shirt i have just been eyeing this at tokyo hands and i have a sort of like room wear fluffy cardigan like this but it's not pink it's gray and i kind of go through them a lot like i do them while washing the dishes and then they get dirty and then i have to put it in the wash and then i have to rotate my next one and so <laughs> i got this like little pink cardigan i just thought it was really cute i like how it buttons i like how there's pockets i like how it's pink i like how it's fluffy so i got it self-care <laughs> i picked up another one of these terry's chocolate oranges this is my childhood i and i did not think i was gonna be able to find these in japan and then my friend was in a caldi store which is like a foreign import like good store kind of like mostly food no all food like food and snacks and stuff like that and she found this and she sent me a picture and i was like where did you get that and she was like it was at caldi and so they have them and they're not super popular here so they still have them because like i remember in america these would be sold out like a week before christmas maybe, maybe if you're lucky <laughs> usually before then um but they have tons of i counted they have like 13 and i'm probably going to buy all 13 but these are my childhood and 
I love them so much. So I bought another one because it's self-care. <laughs> also in the theme of self-care, I got this heated foot warmer. Now, I am not new to these USB heated foot warmers. I had a pair of USB heated slippers and they were the best things ever because I always complained about my feet being cold. I'm rarely producing heat in the first place and the likelihood of it getting all the way to my feet is just very low, okay? And I'm always just sitting at my desk doing work and stuff like that, and my feet just get so cold. They were my favorite things. And then I moved, and I was like, you know what, like... I have to reduce the amount of belongings I have, you know, I can't get that big of a storage unit, and I also can't bring that much with me to Japan. So I gave them away, and I very much regret it. I regret that decision, and so I, <laughs> I filled the void with a new one. It's like a little cushion thing, and and it's pink and it's cute but I am a little concerned because I saw somebody like return this exact one right in front of me and so so now I'm a little concerned <laughs> I mean what's the worst it can do just like not be that hot or I guess like be a dud and not work I don't know it's really cute <laughs> I just love how it's pink like you know if you're thinking of getting anything in Japan chances are of you finding it in pink is, is very likely and it's also like washable I think you just take out the electric component and you can even change like the settings and make sure it's not so hot ah anyway I'm gonna go ahead and make some dinner and Ugh, I'm so excited. Oh my god. Ugh. I remember just how this is like slightly too much for one person, but you really think you can do it, and so you try anyway, and then you're like, oh my god, why did I try to eat the whole thing of mac and cheese? Oh my god. Oh my god. I do not know if this is going to work. <laughs> Doing this on one hand. I catch it like this. Like this. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you enjoy these Japan vlogs, definitely let me know. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.